Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to go over three probability problems and it would be clear for you how law of probability works. So here is the first problem A. You know only that your colleague has three children. What is the probability that all of them are girls? Imagine that each box, empty box, would represent a child. So first child second box represents second child and third box represents third child. What is the probability that first child would be a girl? There are two variants. It's whether it can be a girl or a boy and chances are equal. So probability that this is going to be a girl would be one half or 50 percent or 0 0.5. And what is the probability that the second child is also going to be a girl. Again, chances are equal that this is going to be a girl or a boy. So probability is going to be one half. And the third child also is going to have the same probability of being girl or uh, a boy. 50% girl, 50% boy. So now what we are going to do, we just have to multiply all these three probabilities independent probabilities and we are going to get an answer 1 8. So probability that in a family with three children all of them are going to be girls would be 1 8. Now let's read second question. You know only that your colleague has three children. You ask him if the oldest one is a girl and he says yes. Given this information what is the probability that all three children are girls? Again, let's draw three boxes, which would represent three children. And there are possible different variants, but we know for sure that the first child is a girl. And probability is 100, so 1 over 1. 1 divided by 1 is going to be 1 or 100%. We are sure that the oldest child is a girl. Now what is the probability that the second child is going to be a girl? And this time we don't know it can be a girl or a boy. So probability is 1 half. And probability that the third child is going to be a girl is also going to be 1 half. This time if we multiply all these independent probabilities we are going to get one quarter. The probability that all three children are going to be girls would be one quarter. Actually, this is question about probability that two children are going to be girls because the sex of first child we know. So basically we can exclude this person from our calculations completely. And probability that two children in a row are going to be girls would be one quarter. And the last question, you know only that your colleague has three children. You ask him if he is lucky enough to have at least one daughter and he says yes. What now is the probability that all three children are girls? Here is going to be different approach. Take a look how a family may have three children. All three can be girls. Another variant two would be girls and one can be a boy. Another variant would be two boys and one girl. And the last variant would be that all three children would be boys. There is only one variant how we can get three girls. So the first child can be a girl, second and the third. As for the two girls and one boy combination, there are three variants are possible. First child can be a girl, second child can be a girl, and the last can be a boy. Another variant would be that first child is going to be a girl, second child can be a boy, and the last child can be a girl. And the last variant would be when first child would be a boy and then a girl and a girl. And the same is true for this combination of two boys and one girl. So the first variant would be boy, boy and then a girl. 
Another variant would be a boy, a girl, and a boy. And the last combination would be a girl and two boys, boy and boy. And as for the three boys, only one combination exists. That all three children are going to be boys first, second, and the third. Now let's read our question again. You ask him if he is lucky enough to have at least one daughter and he says yes. What does it mean? That means that we can exclude variant when all three children are going to be boys. Because in this combination there is no way how we can get at least one girl. But it doesn't exclude any of this combination. So that means that this is going to be our sample space. So we have seven combinations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And probability that all three children are going to be girls is going to be one out of seven. And this is going to be an answer to the last question. One out of seven. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.